Hey everyone, and welcome to the second episode of my Cities in Motion 2 video series. In this episode, I'll be playing the first mission in the campaign. It's called Big City Lights. And since I like to challenge myself, I'll be playing all the missions in expert difficulty level. Anyway, uh, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in Central City. You can tell that it's quite a bit larger than the Tutorial City. We've got uh, two large islands here and a few surrounding neighborhoods on the coastline there. Um, so uh, let's go take a look at what our objective he here is. Uh, okay, so this is Mayor Stephanie, and she says, The citizens have been asking for a public transport system for a long time. For me, the most important thing is to keep citizens happy and make the city grow. You can get to work immediately. So it's a very straightforward uh, objective here. We just need to establish 15% coverage for our transit lines. And uh, it's actually very open-ended. We can actually build uh, anything we want, practically. But we probably want to build lines that are actually profitable and make some sense. So let's go take a look at our data view here. I'm going to look at blue-collar workers. Blue-collar workers are very easy to build lines for because they have very straightforward places where they come from and places that they want to go. So you can tell that there are a few blue-collar neighborhoods scattered around the city, but all of the workplaces seem to be concentrated in these three areas down here. Got one over here, one over here, and also one really big one right over in this corner here. And it happens to be right next to a blue-collar neighborhood. So this area is definitely a place where I think I'll be building, want to build a line. Probably a tram or metro line. But I'm not going to do that right now. What I want to do is actually look at the other two methods of transportation that the tutorial didn't go through. And those are uh, trolley buses and water buses. So trolley buses are, are they're just like buses, but they run on uh, overhead electrical power. They, you, you need to have trolley wires uh, overhead built on the roads, uh, just like how you build tram tracks and trams. You need the trolley wires uh, before those buses can actually get moving. So there's an upfront cost there. But the advantage here is, for trolley buses uh, over buses is that they have much less uh, fuel costs. So the regular buses uh, run on diesel, and I expect that because oil prices go start to get pretty expensive, um, your bus line will start to get less profit over time. But with a trolley bus, yeah, you don't really have to worry as much. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually build a trolley bus line right now. Um, I'm actually going to stick with the blue colors here, but I'm going to build a line on this area, but down here, uh, where you see this across this bridge here. So we got this industrial area here, and on across the bridge, you got a bit of a blue collar neighborhood and some commercial districts here. And also, uh, you can notice that the buildings in blue here those indicate leisure buildings. So this is on weekends or off days, uh, people will actually go to these leisure spots to, uh, you know, watch a game or relax. So you got a he over here a baseball stadium, which I definitely, I think, will I'll want to include on my trolley bus line. So I'll try to include this, pretty much the line will just probably include this area. And I'll start building here, but I won't show you in the, uh, I'll, I won't show you all of that process in the video because that's kind of boring. So I'm going to cut off the video right now and by the time I get back, uh, we should have a fully working trolley line. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, so I finished my trolley line. Uh, you can see I've already got a few buses running on the route right now. Um, so I built my trolley depot right here. And basically the route goes around this industrial district, then across this bridge here, along this diagonal road. And then I noticed on some of these avenues in the city, there's actually already bus lanes uh, designated there. You can see the red colored lane there. Um, which is kind of interesting because for a city that doesn't have a transport system at all, it's kind of convenient. Also pretty unrealistic, like why would you build bus lanes if you're... Not don't have any. Not going to build a bus system. Or oh, okay, I guess that's why I'm here. But <laughs> um, so yep, yeah, it goes across uh, around here. I decided to go across this little bridge and then onto this little island here where the stadium is. So definitely covering that as well. And uh, yeah, that's my trolley line. And it's also I'm also pleased to say it's actually quite profitable. You can take a look at my expenses here. Yep, a little profit there. Um, actually, um, I'm actually going to set up a fair zone right now, but before I do that, I uh, just noticed here that my ticket prices are a bit low, yeah, that's why it's in green, so I'm going to increase it there, make it a bit fair, then I'm going to set up my fair zones, 
I'm gonna make it so that this whole area in the bottom here is a one fair zone. So uh, yellow is zone A, blue is zone B, and I define zone B like so. I kind of like this part. It's kind of like playing in a paint program where you're just brushing large areas of landscape. Kind of cool. All right, so that's my zone B. I'm not gonna. I'll, I'll leave it like that for now. So. What that'll mean is that people who are traveling across that bridge will have to pay a slightly higher fare. I think that's a lot more fair in some ways, so no pun intended. Um, Alright, so I want to go take a look at water buses. I don't want to show you those water buses, but I, uh, I actually got an objective in the meantime while I was building this, so let's take a look. Uh, could you do me a favor? I've just opened a brand new casino. Oh, wow. The biggest one in the city. It has plenty of parking space for limos and such, but I want to attract people from all walks of life. Could you set up a direct route there? Okay. Uh, transport 50 people to the nightclub. Where is this nightclub? You can click the name of that and see where it is. Oh. That's actually not a bad spot. Actually, that's where I was going to build my tram line eventually, so I'll just keep that uh, objective in mind. Um, be a good way of being some... Actually, how much money do only 1,250. Mm, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so it took about... I had 100,000 before. It took me about $25,000 to set up this trolley line. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but um, at least I'm making a profit. And that's all that matters. Uh, all right, so let's talk about water buses. Um, so water buses were in the original game. And they, they're basically boats, like ferries that cross canals and stuff. I know in the original game there was a grid, there's a good mission, I think it was in the Amsterdam mission, where the, the water buses were quite useful because Amsterdam has a lot of canals and that sort of thing. But here I'm not entirely convinced whether the water buses are t useful. Um, so how water buses work is that you build two water bus piers, you can see there, and uh, there's something I've had to figure out. If you want to build them, uh, you notice that it's kind of rotating the wrong angle. If I right-click, then I can actually make the water bus pier uh, appear like so on the coastline. So this is something that the tutorial didn't cover, so if you were wondering how, th how to make that work, well, there you go. So you need two piers and at least one uh, depot. So actually, what I'm going to do is, I know there's another industrial district here. I'm going to see how well this water bus works. Um, I am hope uh, you see that the unfortunately the radius around the water bus pier is not that great. Maybe slightly larger than a bus, bus stop as you can see there. But um, I'm going to try my luck. I'm going to build a bus or a water bus pier right here. And I'm hoping that because it's close to the bus stop it'll passengers will t transfer from the bus to the water bus or vice versa and uh, Hopefully the passengers will take advantage of that. So I'm going to build my other pier. I'm going to turn it around with some right clicks. Now, this is a problem because, yeah, unfortunately this doesn't really hit the industry. I can't get it close enough to make a difference. So it's a big question whether this is going to actually make a profit or even get any passengers. Or that even. So I'm going to build it right there, I guess. It's going to be a very short route. I'm going to build my water bus depot. Let's build it on this side. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to set up my route. It's going to be very simple. New route. Starting from the depot. Stop. Set up the triangle. Oh, and I need to buy some vehicles. Let's go do that. Got two kind of types here. We got a small 30-seater. Excellent acceleration. 80% service quality. This one's a little bit larger, less service quality, not as good as acceleration. I really don't think passengers are going to take this, but let's let's build the f only one of these and see what happens. I have the feeling though that this is not going to get uh, people where they want to go because there's just simply no coverage here. Let me look at this carefully. Yeah, I don't think it actually covers those industrial buildings so I'm just gonna let it run for a while and uh, yeah I'll go hide this and see what happens so I'm gonna hide the routes here 
to see those. We make it harder to construct other things later. Alright, so. Next up, I think I'm going to build those trams. So let's go over here. And see what we can do. Let's go look at our data panel again. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to build a really, really long tram line. It's going to go all the way around the edge of here, up to the industrial district, past that nightclub or casino, I'm not entirely sure what it is, and um, then back down and it'll connect with the trolley bus here. So it's going to be a very long tram line. Um, but, uh,. Yep, I, th I don't see really any way around it, unless I build Metro, but I'm not really kind of ready to build that quite yet. So, uh, I'm going to cut the video off here, and by, by the time I get back, you should see you a one big massive tram line on the screen. Okay, so, as you can see, I probably got a little bit carried away with all this tram business. What I initially tried to do was make one long tram line that went around this whole southern area here. But the tram line got a little too long and not enough vehicles to service it and just became really unprofitable. So I decided to nix that and actually split into two lines. Uh, I'll show you quickly uh, each of the lines here. Line 1 goes uh, between these two districts. It goes in a loop around here, uh, goes to this commercial district, and then back down. I, I see that red line there. Uh, line 2, I'll bring it up here goes across the west here, going around, uh, meeting up with the trolley line, and then uh, comes back, shares it, shares the same, most of the same route with line one over here. And then you have line three, which I decided to extend up to here, and it also shares, it goes around in a loop across this bridge, and then over to the, to this island over here. Um, so, yeah, it took a I actually couldn't afford all of it, so what I had to do was take out a loan. Uh, as you can see here, I'm still paying it off. I said I think I took out fifty thousand dollars for ten weeks, and I'm already going through two. I'm already going through two weeks already, and I still have a lot to pay. But the good news is, if you go back to my expenses here, um, I am actually making a profit. Um, so even with all the repayments, so that is good news. Uh, the problem is, I still don't have any money, so I only have a thousand dollars. Also, another good news is my reputation is increasing, so I guess people are, you know, even though I'm seeing a lot of unhappy passengers here and there, uh, it's not, um, at least my reputation is getting better. Um, actually, let's go, I'm going to show you a little something here. Um, I'm going to speed up the buses here, and then... It's going to be morning rush hour pretty soon. I'll just go zoom in here. And this is, I like, I think this is pretty neat. Like, down this street here, you can see all the different buses, or not the buses, the trams coming in on their different routes. So here comes a three. It's going to go straight off. From the front. Here comes a one, and then it's going to turn that way to the industrial district. And yeah, it did just pretty much accumulate, uh, trying to pick up as much pastures. I still find that... There's a lot, there tends to be a lot of pastures waiting to stop, so not everyone gets picked up. Um, I could add more frequency, but then I have no money, so I don't know if that's going to be really worth it. And also, these trams are pretty expensive to operate, so I'm not sure if I want to be spending that sort of amount of money right now. What I actually want to do is try to increase my coverage. Uh, it looks like I've got 60% the way of my 15%. 15%. So if I just build a couple more routes, I think I should be there. Um, probably the next route I'm probably going to build is another trolley line. I'm thinking, if I go back to my data view here, you'll see that um, I've got all of the industrial areas uh, covered here, except that one away over there. So I'm thinking, let's make a trolley bus line that crosses through this my existing trolley bus line and connects up with the rails. That should give plenty of connections and uh, should give enough uh, sur should give enough ridership. I mean, to uh, make that uh, bus line profitable. But I, in order to do that, I'd have to probably take another loan. And let's see if I'm making about two thousand, three thousand per week. 
So I probably want to make sure that if I take another loan, uh, my weekly payment doesn't exceed uh, $3,000 there. So that's a that's one plan. Um, also, I'll note what we got here. We got a few quests going. I, ha I did solve that quest with the casino there and had a few other ones as well. But the quests I'm having right now are just uh, simply purchase five buses and purchase four trolleys. So this one will be definitely useful there. Um, Probably I might decide to invest in another bus line, perhaps maybe along this western area. Probably not really worth it to purchase a trolley or trolley wires for this area, um, as I have no money. But um, yeah, that, there's a lot of choices here. Um, might also build another met, uh, trolley line going up through this area. I think um, if I do it right, it should be enough to get the 15% coverage. Uh, you'll notice that the coverage does tend to fluctuate. I, it's very odd, but I guess people, the passengers have moods of, sort, of some sort. So hopefully I'll catch them on one of their better moods and then hit that 100% completion there. So, um, Alright, so that's that. Uh, I think I'll cut the video off here. And then hopefully you'll see a few more lines, and hopefully I won't be drowning in debt. Uh, see, see you then. Alrighty, so I've built out the infrastructure for my new trolley line. I built out all the wires, the stops, and the depot already. Uh, all that's left to do is to establish the line and uh, buy some vehicles for it. Now to afford all of this, uh, I actually took out yet another $40,000 loan. Uh, it's to be paid in about 10 weeks and uh, it, it'll add another four thousand dollars to my weekly payments and uh, since i'm making about three thousand to four thousand dollars per week from my existing lines already uh, i think this should be a reasonable risk assuming that my new troy line will actually make at least somewhat of a profit so hopefully that'll work out for me um so yeah let's go establish that line right now and uh i'll take this opportunity to actually show you where this uh line is going. So it starts from the depot there, goes around this industrial district, like so, and it crosses this bridge here, uh, meeting up with the existing trolley line one. So going past the stadium there. Then we'll get to this intersection right here. Uh, instead of going right, it'll turn left, like so. And then goes up this uh, diagonal road here. So go up there. And then, unlike the other line, uh, it'll actually go straight down the diagonal road until it reaches uh, this street here. Continuing down the street, it'll eventually uh, reach the tram line three there. You can see it just leaving the stop there. So across there. But then it'll hit this uh, small industrial area here, it's only a couple of factories here, so hopefully that'll add a little bit of extra ridership to that line. Um, that's going to start heading back, uh, crossing tram line 3 again, uh, that highway, it goes, meets up with tram line 3 pretty directly here, you can see got two stops there, it goes down this street, and it meets up with uh, trolley line one. And I'll just uh, zoom out here to make this go a little faster since I don't think most of you want to actually watch me put out all these stops since the last few stops are pretty boring. Uh, just going to finish it off here. Uh, this one and finally back at the depot. Okay, so there's my uh, new trolley line. Uh, you'll notice that it's right now it's expecting uh, to me, it'll need, it's saying that I'll need about 10 vehicles or trolleys to uh, fully service this line, but that's actually depend on the schedule or timetable that I set up. So what I'm going to do is actually click this button to uh, set the timetable here. And what you can do is actually copy the timetables from your other lines in case you know that those lines uh, have a good schedule going. So you can go down here, I'll select my uh, other trolley line here. Then you can push this copy front button to copy the current section that you're looking on, uh, which is one of these six things here. So if I click this button, it'll copy uh, the start, end, and interval into uh, my, my line here. So now weekdays, I've set it from two hours to now every 
every hour, so that's that's what I want. I want increased frequency here. I'll do the same thing for morning rush and evening rush. Bo, um, I'll note. I'll note something here. Uh, what Morning Rush and Evening Rush do is actually add additional buses onto your normal schedule. So you'll notice that for Morning and Evening Rush, there's a little L next to it, and, and it's also next to an existing uh, uh, schedule bus, which is covered by the weekday. You can see the uh, other zero zeros in yellow when I select weekday there. So um, yeah, so what basically what'll happen is when 7 a.m. or 5 p.m. come around. Uh, instead of one bus, there'll actually be two buses coming out of the depot at that time. So, just wanted to let you know in case you didn't know about that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll continue down here. I'll copy the weekend here every hour and a half. And night, also, uh, I want that to be every hour and a half as well. Okay, so I'm going to confirm my changes there. Push OK. Yeah, now you'll notice that my expected number of vehicles that I'll need is 17. Now, what most people might think is for a depot, uh, it can only carry, uh, this number means the maximum number of vehicles that it can actually carry, but that's not true. It's actually just the maintenance capacity. You can actually have more than the more than 16 uh, trolleys here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to buy 18 trolleys because I want to cover this line. Uh, what the maintenance capacity means is just the how many uh, trolleys or vehicles or whatever that it can maintain at a time. So this is usually, you can actually go over this uh, usually because uh, most of the time your line will have at least, you know, maybe a few vehicles uh, out and about and the rest of your vehicles can still be uh, thoroughly maintained uh, by your depot here. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, buy, I'm going to stick with the uh, smaller but better with better service quality trolley here so buy some of these. Uh, in the game you can only buy 10 vehicles at a time which I'm not sure why they put that in maybe just to prevent you from overpaying stuff so I'll buy my first batch of 10 here. Ooh, oh, ah, I got startled there. I almost forgot about my quest there so uh, yeah I bought some trolley buses and got an extra sixteen hundred dollars in cash so uh, that's a good uh, cash infusion. That'll help me there. I'm going to buy my other eight trolleys here. Alright, so there's my line. Got all my trolleys bought. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Uh, I do fully expect that this line will actually... You can see my coverage is 60% or 60% of 15. Um, but I fully expect this line will actually put me over the top and allow me to complete this scenario. So I'm probably going to speed up the game pretty soon here. I just want to cover a few last things uh, about my system here. Um, so my tram lines. Uh, let's go look here. Tram line 3. This guy goes uh, from here up to this island uh, up here. The and it is actually my most profitable tram line, surprisingly enough. Uh, it's actually making about, uh, in terms of income, more than double in, than the incurred expen expenses. So, um, yeah, really good. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the trams you can see there are quite uh, full, but um, uh, the only thing you can really do is just add more trams, which uh, maybe I might have enough money now. It's not bad to have that alone there. So. That's tram line three. Uh, tram line two goes from here out to the west over to this industrial district here, and it's um, not doing too bad. It's making a somewhat of a profit there, and a little tidy profit. Um, and finally, tram line one, which is the one that actually goes to here. If I look at your data view, this is the one I mentioned at the very beginning of the mission, where I said, "Oh, this is a great spot for a line. It's you know right next to." The people, blue collar workers are living right there and they just live right next to their workplaces. The, let's just build a little line there and it just goes to wherever they need to work. But unfortunately, it's not actually doing too well, um, surprisingly enough. It's barely making a profit. And I suspect there's several reasons for this. Um, one thing, uh, because their people are living so close to their workplaces, they're probably just walking or cycling or something like that, which is you know, it's fair enough. Like you wouldn't be want to be paying my exorbitant fares to just uh, take a little bus ride or tram ride there. 
Um, also, one thing I'll note is just because somebody is working or somebody who lives here doesn't mean they actually work in this area. There's a, this, this is probably the largest industrial area, so it is probably a high chance, but it's not a done deal. So um, I hope I can do this right. I'm going to actually uh, pick out one of these uh, tenements here. And when you select one of these buildings, you can actually look up uh, where, uh, look up the citizens that actually live there. Um, you can actually, so if I select maybe one of these guys, uh, you'll see that this guy, he's a blue collar worker, but he actually works in another apartment building. If you click this guy, uh, this apartment building, and then center on it, uh, you'll see that that apartment building is actually not uh, down here, but it's actually way over here. Uh, actually, ne right next to the trolley line. So what this guy is probably doing is uh, he's probably taking the tram line 2 all the way around here and then reaching this intersection and then uh, meeting up and you can, oh, you can actually see a lot of people waiting for that trolley there. Um, taking the heel to just take the trolley up and then go to his workspace there. So he's taking one transfer. Um, so yeah, that is what I want to say there. I'm going to speed up the game now. I think uh, we should be uh, reaching coverage. And while that's happening, I'm just going to enjoy my transit system here. Watch the uh, trams go by in some ways. So I got 80% coverage. Should be hitting the 100% pretty soon, I hope. Um, do -do. So yeah, that's... Um, Oh, oh, I forgot to mention, or maybe I didn't mention, that the water bus is gone. I, it wasn't making a profit at all. Um, not sure why I bought that thing in the first place. I guess in this city it's probably not the best spot to put a water bus, but um, maybe in other cities. Oh, there we go. Uh, yep, looks like I got my 15% coverage and completed the scenario. Alright, so uh, that's the first scenario of the Season Motion 2 campaign. Uh, next episode, we'll be uh, going on to the next uh, scenario. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in next episode.